Hey guys, Kiko here. This video is about a very important exercise if you're learning the scales, if you're learning the modes, right? So it's a, it's a necessary exercise, I think. It's, like, it's a life-changing exercise. Maybe not, not a life-changing exercise, but a necessary exercise. Mainly if you feel like your solos are not sounding melodic, you know? So this will help you. This is one of the, the exercises you can practice for your solos, uh, for your improvisations to sound more melodic. I will do the exercise on a G major scale. So G, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. That's the G major scale. <laughs> So, G major scale, and of course you can play. Or three notes per string. So in this video I will consider that you know the seven shapes. If you don't know yet the seven shapes, it's not a problem. Just, I will leave down below here a link with the seven shapes for you, but you can Google, you can find anywhere the seven shapes to practice uh, the scales on the guitar, right? So the main thing here is to play the main notes of the G major scale, which is the G note, the tonic of the scale, the third, the major third of the scale, which is the B note, so one, two, three, so G and B, and then the fifth, note of the scale G A B C D so D so G B and D so you have to find those notes basically those notes you will find easily if you know the chords so you play the chord the G major chord so you play that's the third here and then this note here So that's the idea. So basically, the idea of this video is to show you the best way to practice the shapes is to play every shape stopping on, on the G major triad, right? So now, uh, if you learn how to do that, you will be able to stop on the consonant notes and realize where is, where is home, where is uh, resolution, and where is tension and where you're creating movement to go back to the resolution notes, to the tonic, to the third, or to the fifth. So here we go. Tonic, third, fifth, tonic, third, fifth, tonic, third. And then keep doing this, stopping every time on the tonic, third, and fifth. So now, second shape, you have to do the same thing. So second shape is... We're still here, G major scale or Ionian mode, right? So now, in this area here, you have to stop on the B, on the D, on the G, so... Tonic, fifth, 
fifth, third, tonic, fifth, third. So, different shape, same notes. So doing this, you know where is home, where are the consonant notes, tonic, third and fifth. So your solos will be more melodic because you know where to go and uh, you know how to create movements, you know, being dissonant or consonant. So here we go for the third shape. <laughs> Still playing the G major scale, still playing the G Ionian mode because I'm considering the G major as our fundamental note, right? Fundamental chord. So G is here, but we start here on the third, fifth, tonic, third, fifth, tonic. You see the G major chord here? This shape here, the C shape. So. Fifth, third, tonic, fifth, third, tonic, fifth, third. So, and then you keep, keep doing the seven shapes. Next one, right? So here the G is here. So fifth is here. G, third, fifth, G, third, right? Oops. Yeah. Cool. So now, next shape. Fifth, tonic, third, fifth again, tonic, third, fifth, and then the tonic again. And then you keep going. Next shape. Here you have the G here, right? That G here. The other one, right? So we have this. But it's starting from the E. So G, third, fifth. Third. Right, so, and then last one, right, before I forget. So the G is right here, so it would be here. G, third, fifth, so seven shapes, always is stopping on the D, which is the tonic, stopping on the B, which is the major third, and stopping on the D, which is the fifth. So you're stopping on the triad, so you're stopping on the, uh, uh, on the chord, the main chord, the fundamental chord of the major scale. So it gives you the sense of going home, going to the consonant note, um, uh, a place to stop. So your melodies, you have more control over your melodies, right? I'm repeating myself saying that because it's a very uh, necessary uh, exercise to, to play so you start visualizing you know the notes so you're playing like uh, the scales but you know three of the most important notes of that scale right there and then you understand the relation with the other four notes of the scales which is the second the fourth the sixth and the seventh right and 
I think it's a, it's a good exercise for you to start. And, up, and if you like, I can show other exercises that will help you to understand the modes, the scales, and you can practice the right way to get there faster. All right, so leave your comments, leave your questions, and see you on the next video. Ah, subscribe to the channel, by the way, before I forget. See ya.